Welcome to the shop and let's now examine this delightful four volume set right here. It's in period full leather bindings like so. Look at these spines that are all gilt decorated and ornamented and the covers. Look at this. Very pleasing indeed. Very pleasing bindings. Uh, stamped, uh, decorated in blind within these concentric uh, rectangles with the corner devices like so. Even the board edges, look at this pleasing little pattern. The text block edges are marbled. The turn ends have that wonderful patterning. Look at these nice marbled end papers like so. Yeah, very pleasing set. It is four volumes complete. The works of Lord Byron. Look at that beautiful engraved frontis right there, dated 1829. The set itself is John Murray, 1830. And we see here that it remains sound, clean, and tight, like this. Basically very fresh internally, the paper still white, nice typography, yes, nice typeface being used. And we're going to look at each book. I'll show you the outside, the binding of each volume. Small little scuff spots along the extremities, like so, but that's inevitable. The leather is still very supple. Uh, we just simply put leather dressing on the set and it really uh, popped back to life. Look at this beautiful engraving here as a frontis. Again, very well done. The engraver has signed it. Anytime the engraver signs the plate uh, at the bottom, it's usually an indication that it's a, an accomplished engraving. This has a little scuff spot going across here like that, a little bit on the joints uh, there. But internally, the hinges are still uh, tight, and the text block is square like this. And here is the engraved front is here. Nice range of tonality here. Uh, darks are very dark. The lights are very light. It's a nice contrast. It's a very pleasing uh, style of engraving. Well inked image. Uh, and again, just a beautifully preserved book. Oh yes, there's a couple little bent page corners down there. John Pearson wrote his name in here probably in the 19th century on one of the blank uh, free uh, fly leaves. And uh, here is the final engraving, a little bit of spotting, no doubt due to the paper that was used because the text block paper is not spotted for the most part. So typically uh, when one uh, type of paper in a book such as the uh, uh, engraving paper, which is of course printed separately on a different paper, a heavier paper, then bound in by the binder. This paper obviously uh, came from a different source and has aged slightly differently, but it's typical of books of this vintage. And now you've seen all four books and the set is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.